firefighters are at the scene of an apartment fire in the Bronx. It was Thursday night when PIX11 first covered this fire that tore through the Claremont Consolidated Houses on Finley Avenue. Take a look at the video there, Finley Avenue in the concourse section. You see this on TV and you don't think it's going to happen to you until it does and then you're just in total shock. Lou Santana lived on the fourth floor, right in the middle of it. What happened to your apartment? Um, it's gone. Your apartment's gone? Yes. Santana and her family got out alive. I was actually taking a nap with my younger daughter, my six-year-old. My older daughter, who's 10, was in the living room doing homework. I woke up to banging noises from the next door. Her daughters ran out barefoot in their pajamas, but she's grateful they got out. The tenant president here, Audrey Henry, her neighbor, gave Santana's daughters shoes. This is my family. All of them is my family. This is my this is my block. Henry says her neighbor needs more than shoes, but help putting her life back together. It's not just Santana hurting right now, but 13 other families who were displaced. Henry reached out to PIX11 for help for her neighbors. And I know her kids, and I just need to make sure that everybody's right. Six days after the fire, we found Santana standing on the sidewalk with what's left. It fits in this push cart. I have a few shirts, a few pants, um, some quilts that we really needed. The Red Cross placed families in a hotel, and Tuesday she's now moving to a temporary apartment in a nearby NYCHA building. But the apartment is empty, and with little money, she needs beds for her two girls, clothes, and shoes. I want to cry all the time, but I'm staying strong for my daughters because I don't want them to keep seeing me cry. What's the hardest part of this? Your kids asking you, when are you going home? Or can you go back home? 